What do these pictures mean to you, yourself? Oh, they've become more or less the most important part of my life. I can't imagine now living without them. She'd carved out a niche for herself, and she filled it, and she made it as a collector, and as a kind of collector that never quite existed before. She wanted this art as a mirror for her own strangeness. She was talked about as such a slut for doing the same thing that all the men around her were doing. Peggy is a sort of model for the liberated woman. Peggy appealed to me because of her eccentricities. Just a wonderfully colorful family. She helped artists to leave Europe, to the United States, so she very much saved artists. My father showed with her, my mother showed with her. She was a big part of their lives in 1946, yeah, when I was three. I first met Jackson Pollock when he was working as a carpenter in my uncle's museum. So I rescued him from that. And how do you feel about walking down the ramp at the Guggenheim Museum and seeing your paintings in a completely different environment? Oh, my uncle's garage, yes. Well, it looks like a garage, doesn't it? I think if he saw this now, he'd turn in his grave. Did you feel it was a crazy life? Definitely, yes. It was all about art and love.